my beautiful stars and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had an amazing May. Now we are into June, which just happens to be my birthday month and I am so excited. Um, June 28th is my birthday. So I am really, really excited for that. Um, I don't think I'm really doing anything special. I just might be going out to lunch with some friends or something, but... I know the day before, a couple days before, I'm actually going out with my aunts who are visiting, so that's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> um, anyway, I've got my May favorite sitting here in front of me. It is less than usual. That does not mean I loved everything. I loved less things. It means I am trying to learn to narrow things down. Although you may still want to get, you know, something to drink and a snack, maybe, possibly. Because you know me, I like to ramble. Alright, <laughs> so let's get started with the beauty products. First up in the beauty section is a men's deodorant. Um, and I actually, I prefer men's deodorant. I prefer how they smell. I prefer how they function. And they last just so much longer. And right now I'm using the Mitchum Men's 48 Hour Clean Control. 48 Hour Protection Clean Control. Um, deodorant. It's just a regular stick, you know, but it smells like guys cologne and I love that smell and the other like women's deodorant, I haven't found one that hasn't made me gag. So there's that little problem, but the guys ones don't make me gag. So I prefer to wear the guy's deodorant. Then the next thing that I've been loving in beauty is my Peppermint Gems um, lip balm. And I will definitely link them down below. And uh, this is actually in my Project 7 pan, 8 pan. Follow me on Instagram. You'll, uh, there's a whole picture of what I'm panning, trying to pan anyway. Um, I know chapstick kind of seems like a funny one, but I'm doing it because I have so many chapsticks. I just was like rotating them and like opening them and then not using them and opening them and then not using them and opening them and then I'm not using them. So, um, I am going to each project pan, each time I finish a chapstick, another chapstick is going in. Like there will always be a chapstick in there. Like no, no question about it because I have so many chapsticks. I have like three of these because they're fantastic and they smell like peppermint. Next thing is actually a brush that I got in my Ipsy bag. I will link that down below for you guys if you guys would like to sign up. And it's by SL Miss Glam, which I've watched her videos on YouTube. If I can find her YouTube channel, I will also pop that down in the description bar so you can link it, but it's a um, small contour brush W07 and I love that it's got the little gems right here and then something that's a little strange that I like that you can maybe tell I'm wearing it on my lids right now is glitter I've always loved glitter but I'd never really gotten into the hang of wearing it except for as an eyeliner until more recently and the glitters that I have came in a set with some pigments from Amazon. If I can find, like, that order and I can find that brand again, I will link it down below. But if I can't, I'm really, really sorry. But you get a lot. You get a lot, like, a number, and you get they all come in these little tiny pots. They're really hard to open, though. Keep that in mind. And then, before I get into, like, the big section of stuff that I love, like, beauty-wise, um, because I have one, two, three, four, five Soap and Glory products. Um, but anyway, I got the Sephora Color Switch by Vera Mona, and this is, oh my gosh, I mean, I had used this brush today, and it was brown. Like, you couldn't see any of the pink. And you can see some of the pink now. So, 
it's a really amazing product. Mine's kind of dingy, but you can take this out and you can wash it and pop it back in. So, amazing, amazing, amazing. And, yeah, if you can get your hands on it. I had been trying to get my hands on it since it got to Sephora, and I hadn't been able to. So, I finally got my hands on it. So, um, yeah. So, for makeup that I loved, <laughs> that is Soap and Glory, they're kind of like a combined set thing, but they don't come as a combined set thing, is the One Heck of a Blot Liquid to Powder Foundation in the lightest shade. Fair Enough. In the shade Fair Enough. And I, looking at it, I was really worried it was going to be too dark, but it really wasn't. And I have it on today, and it's just, it feels so nice on the skin. It feels so smooth, and I just, I love it. I love it. I can't, like, my skin can breathe, you know. And then I also use the One Heck of a Blot um, Translucent Oil Absorbing Power Powder. And um, it comes with a little poof. Little tiny poof. See? Poof. Um, but I haven't used it yet, but I am going to be going to an event later this week. And I will be taking this with me because I'm going to get shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And then I really love, if somebody, I mean, I'm not going to run out of this anytime soon. But, and by the time I run out, I may be sick of it. So, we'll, when the time comes, I'll ask you guys. But if you guys ever see this at your store, whether you're in England, in Europe, or you're in the States, and you can get access Ulta, um, if you find this face wash, it is absolutely amazing. I mean, it smells so good. Ugh. Like, and it just makes your skin feel so clean. There are little beads in it that are scrub, but they don't, they're not harsh. They're like smooth beads. And, like, they don't burst or anything or anything like that. They're just, they're just there to kind of help exfoliate uh, gently. And it's got Zuzu Superfruit in it. Yuzu Superfruit. I have no clue what a Yuzu is. I should probably look that up. Anyway. But it's a great, great face wash. It smells so good. And it's really kind of just like wakes you up in the morning. And oddly at night, it calms me. Like, you know, as much as I can be calmed by a face wash. But it's a great face wash. It really cleanses my face. It gets rid of all of my makeup. Um, I don't use it on my eyes, though. I'm afraid to use it on my eyes. So I just, I take all my eye makeup off with, um the Pond's cold cream, and then um, I wash my face with that, and it works, and it's perfect, and I love it, and yes. And then another product I have from them is I'm very picky about my lotions and my hand creams. Like, they can't be oily, they can't be light, or anything like that. Um, and this, right here, this is my Holy Grail hand cream. It is the best hand cream I have, I've ever used. I, I mean, yes, I use, um, Gold Bond Healing. I had to look over there, I couldn't remember if it was Gold Bond or Eucerin. Um, but it was Gold Bond. And I love my Gold Bond. I love it. It's thick. It's moisturizing. It's not greasy in any way, shape, or form. But, um, this is lighter, which usually I don't like light lotions at all. But it's not super light, and it's not oily. And it has the most amazing florally, fruity, it's their original pink scent, basically which is, I think, like a mix of florals and fruits. 
Um, but this is, as I said, I'm going to repeat it. It's my favorite hand cream. And they make them, in, if you want to try them, they do have, I think, little trial sizes. I know they have them for the foot cream, which I don't like as much. But I don't know if they have them for the hand cream. If they do and you want to try it, definitely try that. But even this isn't that expensive. So, and it lasts you a long time because you don't need a lot. So, I really love this. Really, really love this. And then this was also something that I loved. The last thing from Soap and Glory that I loved is their um, Soap and Glory Original Pink Body Spray. And this is their original pink scent. And it is just, it's beautiful. It's light. It's girly. It's fruity and I don't usually like any of those I don't like fruity I don't usually like girly and I don't usually like light but for some reason soap and glory you have hit the nail on the head this stuff is amazing your scents are amazing your formulations are amazing holy moly macanoli this stuff is so great I love it like, all the Soap and Glory stuff. But this stuff, I've been out of a body spray, so I got it just to try it. I'm going to have to buy more and try the other scents because I love this so much. So, yes, this is the last Soap and Glory product that I will show you now. So, okay. On to other things. Sorry, my allergies are acting up. For hair, I only have one thing, and it's also something else that, like, is in my project pan. And it is the Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil by OGX. And I've been using this for years. Not years, like a year and a half. And I really want to get rid of it because I have their B5 spray. And I really want to start using that. But I refuse to start using it until I've used this up. Also, I have no more room on my shelf to put it until this is gone. So, but I love this. It smells, it still smells amazing. It still smells like argan oil, which I love the smell of argan oil. And OGX products just in general, I really love. I love their shampoos. I love their conditioners, their styling products. I don't know if they have dry shampoo. I don't remember. I haven't been to the store recently. And I haven't looked in the hair care aisle in a long time. So I don't know if they have a dry shampoo in now. But last time I looked, they didn't. Um, so OGX, if you're watching, get on that. And then I have two Body Shop products that I really love. The first one I actually got on clearance from Ulta. And it is the... Wild Argan Oil Miracle Solid Oil for Body and Hair. And it looks like this. It looks like the same tin as the lotion, which I also have the lotion of this. But it's just, it's a solid oil. And it's really, really nice. It's, I use it to rub it in because of the wheelchair. My hands are pretty calloused. Um... So I rub it into the calluses at night, and like I'll rub it into my knees, which will get really dry in my elbows. Um, sometimes I'll rub it down my neck, you know, as an extra hydrating doodad. And of course I'm doing all of this after I put on a body butter, which the body butter I've been using most recently and been loving is the Japanese Cherry Blossom by Body Shop. And, um, as you can see, I've used quite a fair amount of this one. Um, it's probably one that I've used the most out of, because I have three of them. And again, I'm kind of trying to get used to using just one thing until it's used up. Even if it's, if, even if it's not in my project pan, I'm trying to, you know, put myself in that mindset of use one thing, even though you have three different scents to choose from, pick one scent, use it till it's gone, and then you can move on to the next one. Unless it's like really cold, then I will and go use the Argan Oil, Wild Argan Oil one, because that one is the most hydrating and it is the thickest. So if it's really cold and dry, then I'll use that. 
even if I'm trying to use up other ones. Because I will first put this all over my body, let it set for a little bit, and then right before I go to bed, another favorite that I forgot to grab is the Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy Sleep Body Lotion with Detoxifying Black Chamomile. And it's really, really nice. It's actually, most of their stuff, you know, are, are usually in plastic containers. This is not plastic. This is heavy glass. And I am terrified I am going to break it. And I already have, a, I've, I would say I'm probably at about this mark on it. Yeah. So you can see how tall it is. But um, I've still got a ways to go in all of that. But I do have a backup already because semi-annual sale was on and instead of being $16, it was 6 So I got it. Now the next few things are kind of miscellaneous like jewelry and um, craft stuff, electronics, candles, things like that that aren't beauty related. They're kind of more lifestyle related. And the first thing I wanted to show you guys is this really beautiful ring. I can't put it up any closer or else it won't focus on it, I don't think. There we are. This beautiful ring with like this rose bead in it. And um, it's just, it's made out of wire. Definitely handmade. Um, I got it in an antique shop for a dollar. Or maybe this was less than a dollar. I think this was actually 50 cents. Um, but I really like it and I've been wearing it a lot. But my favorite piece of jewelry, and I have not, I, I take it off to shower and that's about it, um, is this pendant necklace. And it's got the moon on it, on both sides of it actually. Oopsies. See the crescent moon? And we got this at an artisan um, who was down like an alleyway in a town called Bisbee. And she was making these necklaces and she had ones that were suns and ones that were moons. And I kept looking at this one. And my mom surprised me by getting it for me for my birthday um, as an early birthday gift. And she was like, well, why did you want the, the, the moon so bad? And I was like, well, as you guys will see, I'm going to be filming a, a night tutorial soon. I'm a night person. I'm, I'm not a morning person. I'm not a day person. I am a sun goes down, moon comes out. That's my time. That's what I get most of my work done. That's when I get most of my editing done. That's why a lot of my posts happen either very, very, very early in the morning, like around 1, or very late at night, around 11. Because that's, that's the time when I'm most productive. And I felt, it's going to sound weird, but I felt this necklace calling to me. You know... And it's just, it's made of Murano glass. Oops. I'm going to set it down now. It's made of Murano glass. And it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. If you have a chance to go to Bisbee and you can go down that, that little alleyway up the main drag, you know, check it out. Definitely check it out. It's amazing. And then... I do have a favorite candle, and I'm sad because I think they have finally stopped selling it for the season, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope that they bring back Boardwalk for the summer, because I really, really loved Boardwalk. And um, hope that they bring this back, this scent at least, back next season. And it was from their, um, like their cities from around the world collection and it's the Amsterdam one and it just it is I don't I really only like the smell of roses I mean I like the smell of flowers but I had never really smelled a tulip until I got this candle because it's the scent is spring tulips and this is my third one. 
I have never bought three of one candle before. Ever. And, um, yeah. I just, I love it. I love it. It's just, it's an amazing candle. So if they come back out with it, or if you see it on their website, um, A, let me know. B, um, get it. Get it for yourself. Because it is so, the throw is amazing. It burns wickedly even. And it's great. I absolutely love it. I will save my crafts to the end and books to the end. Well, books and then crafts. But before that comes something I have never talked about before. And that is electronics. Electronics. Mm, that's weird. Electronics. Um, I got a new phone because my phone basically completely conked out on me and was like, nope, not going to work anymore. Like, I had to take the backing off, take the battery on and out, in and out to get it to work. And I would have to do that 20, 30 times a day. And so I was like, I know I have to pay for my own phone. I don't care. I want a new phone. So the phone that I got is the Droid Max 2. It's either the Droid Max 2 or the Droid Max. And this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can... This is what it looks like. Um, no, I have not been to Brighton. For those of you being like, hey, that's the Brighton Ferris wheel. I'm like, nope, I've never been to Brighton. It's just something. A picture I found that I made my background. Beautiful dreams. Dreams that I can dream on. And then, because my phone was the last one they had in stock, I got, like, a free phone case, which I didn't use, a car charger, and probably the thing that I didn't think I would use at all, and the thing that I've used the most, are the Samsung Buds. They look really weird, but these come off, and you just stick them in your ear, and then I just hang this around my neck, and it's a Bluetooth headset. And I didn't think I would ever, ever use a Bluetooth headset. Ever. Because I thought it was just for, you know, driving. And I was like, I will never be on the phone when I drive. Come hell or high water. Okay, if there's hell, then I'm calling somebody. That's beside the point. But I found, I figured out. Because when I had made that decision, I was just getting into, like, smartphones. And I, I thought the Bluetooth literally only worked for a phone call. Well, I've used them for a lot of phone calls, but I also use it to listen to audiobooks because I have Audible on my phone, and I also use it to listen to music, to meditate, um, because it also works with that stuff. I didn't know that. I just kind of figured it out on my own. Yeah, the uh, social media person didn't know that. Oh, goodness gracious. And then, um, speaking of Audible... The two books that I really love this month, well, actually, okay, there are three books that I really love this month, and that was You're Never Weird on the Internet by Felicia Day, Go Set a Watchman, a novel, and Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris. Me Talk Pretty One Day was absolutely hilarious. I mean, I was cleaning my room and I was cracking up so loudly my parents thought I had hurt myself. Um, because I was like, scream laughing. And I'd never scream laugh. And, um, it's just, he's such a great comedian. And the book that I read specific, this book specifically, was so funny. So great. I absolutely loved it. He apparently, I didn't know this, has a ton of books out. And I didn't know that. So I will definitely be um, getting more of his books. But the good thing is, is like, his reading that book wouldn't have worked. But watching, but listening to it definitely did. So um, that was really, really good. And then I also really liked Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. And... 
I really love that because I loved, loved, loved To Kill a Mockingbird um, when I read it in sophomore year of high school. And um, Go Set a Watchman was a lot deeper. Um, and because I, I had kind of lived more, I was able to e even better understand her style of writing, what was going on in the book, and things like that. You know, there, you have a certain level of understanding when you're a sophomore, and you have a certain level of understanding when you're, well, I'm going to be 23. So, it's like, what can you do about it? It's a great book. And then I had tried and tried and tried to read You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost by Felicia Day, like, by listening to it. And I could never get past the first chapter or two, first chapter or two. And then for some reason, when I tried it again, boom, I got it. And I loved it. It was so great because there were a lot of things that I could relate to. You know, there are a lot of things that, you know, introverts and people with depression and people with anxiety can relate to anything that gamers can relate to you know it's it's relatable for I would say there's something in there for everybody so I would definitely recommend all three of these books unless you're like under 18 don't read Ghost at a Watchman yes just wait until you're out of high school personally that would that would be my personal preference um then again, I don't know what your Luxile level is or, you know, anything like that. So, but again, I digress. Those were all great books and I'm still working on, still working on Maggie Smith's biography and, um, all of that. So, yeah. Okay, my camera battery is starting to die, so this last part is going to be real quick. Um, I got some new markers, not like regular coloring markers, like almost like the Coletto markers, but knockoffs, and they're called Le Plumes, and they're the Plume Pens, and I got them from, um, uh, Tuesday morning, a pack of six for five dollars, and... They're great. They're double-ended. One's like a brush tip, like a script tip, and one's like a pen tip, but still a marker. And it's great for coloring in and adding detail to my stamps. Speaking of coloring in and adding detail, I really love this card I made um, this month. And it looks like this. And I used the bow making kits that you can find at Joann's. This is a Mambi pocket card, and this lady right here is a stamped image that I cut out, and she is from um, Sherry Baldy's um, collection, My Besties collection, and I just, I love how this card turned out. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I love how this card turned out. I love especially how she turned out. I mean, all of her detail and everything is just so amazing. And you can, you, I, stamping and coloring an image is like really freeing because you're not coloring like swirly shapes like most of the coloring books that I have are. This one, I'm actually able to color a person. And it's so much fun. And she, I call her my, I call it my 50s card. Because she's 50s. Speaking of Sherry Baldy stamps, these are my favorite stamps. I have... Hold on. Sorry, hold on just a second. Okay. This one that, one that I just showed you is called Carly. And they're clear cling stamps. These two don't have a name. This one doesn't have a name, but it is a Sherry Baldy My Besties stamp, most definitely, because you can tell by the eyes. And so is this one. She's, like, sitting in a cupcake. 
And so I've used it for a couple of girls' birthdays and things like that. And she's got wings and all that. And this one is called We Winged One. And I will link her website and her Etsy shop down below, Sherry Baldi's um, Etsy shop. And then I also got We Winged One's Best Friends. They're all just very cute, very almost kawaii-like because of the big eyes. And this one is called Wendy and Wag because she's with her little pup. And I got that because I'm always with my little pup. And then the last thing that I've been liking this month is my Fiskars um, paper trimmer. Granted, I would like a new one because this one's really old. But... It's been working really, really well for me, and um, I made new business cards, and um, I had to cut them out by hand. So to get a nice, straight, precise cut, unlike I usually do, I used this. So that is it. Those are my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.